I was surprised when I looked at data about um, what majors freshmen choose to see how few women are choosing majors in engineering, this hard, the physical sciences and computer science. In some cases, it's two to four percent of freshman women choosing those majors. Some of the things that the students said in the conversation surprised me. And in particular, several of the students seemed pretty convinced that some of what goes into whether you're going to be, um, that how gender affects whether you're going to decide to be in a STEM field is really about the way your brain is wired or your brain works. I think to some extent boys and girls do learn differently. It's very common for girls to say, oh, I'm not confident enough to do that, whereas boys will say, oh, yeah, I, I can go into engineering. I, I can do that. That's, that's for me. Me and my circle of friends from India, we had that vision of, like, we're going to do science. We're going to do this as, like, a future. While when I go for outreach in, like, middle schools in the U.S., there is, like, a huge culture um, difference where a lot of girls are not as comfortable seeing themselves as a future scientist, as a future engineer, as even sometimes, you know, as a future doctor, which surprises me a lot. What dissuades young women and girls in terms of seeing themselves as scientists and engineers, and in particular, the stereotypes about the nerdy, science fiction-loving, game, gaming culture kind of person, that that's who you have to be and that's what you have to emulate to be a scientist or an engineer turns girls, some girls off, or seems to turn many girls off. Well, you always think of engineers as people like nerdy people who like Star Wars and, and science, whereas we learned tonight that engineers can like quilting, and quilting is a form of engineering, and cooking is a form of engineering. You don't have to be this, like, you don't have to fit any stereotype to be an engineer. My definition of what an engineer is was kind of just completely changed. Like, I didn't know you needed to, writing skills or creativity to be an engineer. I thought it was just math and science and hard work. I was brought up in India, so I came straight for, like, after spending my first 18 years of my life in India. And also having a background where my mom worked in a very science-related field, I had the opportunity to never feel discouraged enough to enter the field. What I feel is that culture plays such a huge role in having these young girls perceive how science really is and how science is going to shape their future. So I feel like there are households, maybe in America, where they could be not entirely discouraged, but there might be a bigger divide in having the ability to like, enter those fields. At the K-12 to level, it's maintaining interest and in helping girls see themselves in those fields. If I was talking to young women, women, young girls in middle school, women in high school, about whether they can be an engineer, whether they can be a scientist, I think the important thing to talk to them about is not about the stereotypes of the kinds of hobbies you're supposed to have, but that they're fields that do tremendous good for, for everybody, so that you're helping people if you're an engineer. You're helping people if you're a scientist. You want to be good at, you want to be creative. To be a good engineer, you have to be creative. You have to want to work with people and you want to have to want to communicate with people all of the time. You also have to be good at math and you also have to be detail oriented. But it's not just about those things. It's a bigger picture about what makes a successful scientist and engineer. So the unfinished work in having more women or girls into STEM fields is I feel like they don't find the right mentor. Having the right mentor, I feel, is highly, like, I don't know, put aside. It's not considered as essential or important or critical. And I feel so mentorship is one of the biggest, uh, most critical ideas that need to be pushed right now for this generation to help the next generation bridge the gap. And once the gap is bridged, then the work is pretty much done.